Since it's only two months away now, we pretty much know everything to expect for the next iPhone. A vertical camera layout, 5x telephoto coming to the smaller 16 Pro, and larger 6.3 and 6.9 inch displays, the biggest the iPhone has ever been. But a new leak confirms that Apple is working on a mystery iPhone that we kind of forgot about, the iPhone SE 4. Let's talk about it. Apple typically identifies their iPhones depending on the chipset. So with the iPhone 15, the 15 and 15 Plus had a different starting number than the 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max, since they're powered by different processors, the A16 Bionic and A17 Pro chip respectively. But this new leak confirms that every single iPhone 16 will use the same chip, likely the A18, since the identifiers all start with the same number. Now, we can go so much further about how Apple will likely limit one of the GPU cores in the standard models in order to market the Pro models with a more powerful A18 Pro chip, but we're not focusing on that right now because there happens to be a fifth iPhone that will be powered by the same chip, and this iPhone will be the iPhone SE 4. Apple first released the iPhone SE in 2016, adopting the design from the iPhone 5S but powered by the same camera and chip of the iPhone 6S. They updated it in 2020 with the design of the iPhone 8 and a faster chip, and again in 2022, adding 5G and an even faster chip. But every single iPhone SE that Apple has made have had one thing in common. They all have outdated designs. It's already 2024 and Apple is still selling a phone with gigantic bezels, touch ID, and a home button. Until now. The iPhone SE 4 will be the biggest update to iPhone SE since iPhone SE, and this will attract a lot of new customers worldwide. First, the iPhone SE 4 will use the design of the iPhone 14. Now, this is big, literally, because it means that we're getting an edge-to-edge 6.1-inch -edge OLED display, Face ID, a radically new square design, MagSafe, much better battery life, better water resistance, and so much more for the first time in iPhone SE. Furthermore, the SE4 is rumored to adopt newer technologies not even found on the iPhone 14, like a USB-C port and maybe even the action button. But the star of the show is the A18 chip, the same chip that will power the entire iPhone 16 lineup, which means that this will also be the first iPhone SE to feature Apple intelligence, bringing all of Apple's latest AI features and smarter Siri to their most affordable iPhone. Now, speaking of affordable, the iPhone SE 4 will have to remove some features to keep costs down. These CAD models from 91 Mobiles pretty much confirm the new iPhone SE's design, taken from the iPhone 14, but also reveals that it will only feature one camera. Despite its single camera layout, the SE 4 is rumored to adopt a 48 megapixel camera, which means that even if you technically only have one camera, you'll have two focal lengths at the ready, a full 48 megapixel 1x and cropped in 2x mode, still taking a 12 megapixel photo like before. The iPhone SE 4 will most definitely be the biggest update to iPhone SE since its release, and I think this more modern design will make it so much more attractive to budget users. It's expected to be released early next year, likely in March or April 2025. Despite all of these upgrades, Apple is still targeting a sub $500 price tag for this new iPhone, but I think they'll price it just short of that at $499, a little bit more than the current SE which starts at $429. This new SE is kinda like when Apple released the 10th generation iPad. It came with an all new design with so many new features, yet it was more expensive than before, so much so that Apple chose to keep the 9th generation in the lineup for the same price. I think this is what's going to happen with the SE4. Apple's going to price it at $499, but keep the SE3 at $429 in an attempt to upsell you to get the SE4 since it's so much better and only $70 more. Then, just like what they did with the iPad and the first iPhone SE as well, in fact, they'll cut the price one year in, say, down to $449 or $399 in an attempt to bring in more sales mid-cycle. But either way, the iPhone SE 4 will be an amazing upgrade for budget users, and more especially people with an older iPhone like an iPhone 11 that have been holding out to get a new iPhone for so long. This iPhone will be really attractive to those customers, since it's going to bring so much great value at still a relatively low price. Will you be buying the new iPhone SE? Let me know in the comments.